Good morning to all. This is Sixth History. In the Asian world have some important civilization. For example, Mesopotamia civilization, Indus Valley civilization, Egyptian civilization, Chinese civilization. What are they? First one is Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia civilization. Next, Indus Valley civilization. Next, Egyptian civilization. Chinese civilization. What are the civilization? Mesopotamia civilization, Indus Valley civilization, Egyptian civilization, and Chinese civilization. This Mesopotamia civilization belongs to 3500 to 2000 BC. What? 3500 to 2000 BC. BC means before Christ. And Indus Valley civilization belongs to 3300 to 1900 BC. 3300 to 1900 BC. And Egyptian civilization belongs to 3100 to 1100 BC. 3100 to 1100 BC and Chinese civilization belongs to 1700 to 1172 BC. 1172 BC. In this, now we discuss about Indus Valley civilization. So now we discuss about Indus Valley civilization. So our topic name is Indus Valley civilization. Indus Valley Civilization. So, this civilization is a Latin word civis. The civilization comes from the Latin word civis. The civis meaning is town. The civis meaning is town or city. So, civilizations come from the Latin word civis. So, civis meaning is city. Okay. Now, these all civilizations are established near in the river. The all civilizations established in the place near the river. For example, Indus Valley Civilization is established near in the Indus River. So in Tamil, this is Sindhu. So this is Indus River. And the Egyptian Civilization uh, nearby the Nile River. Chinese Civilization near in the Yellow River. Okay. okay. As I told, the civilization, the peoples are settled near the river. So why did the people settle near the river? Why did the people settle near the river? So totally three reasons. One is the soil is fertile. One is soil is fertile. Soil is fertile. Next, second one is second one is fresh water. Fresh water. Second one is fresh water. The fresh water is available for, for drinking and watering the stove irrigation. So fresh water is Available for drinking, drinking, watering, leaf stock, and irrigation. Irrigation. So second second reason is fresh water is available for drinking, watering, leaf stock, and irrigation. Next, third one, third reason. Easy movement. Easy movement. That means easy movement waterway transport. So easy movement for person and goods is possible. So these three reasons are main important reason. So why people settle near the river? So first one is soil is fertile. Next one is fresh fresh water is available for drinking watering leaf stalks and irrigation and the third water third reason is easy movement okay next in 1856 when in 1856 engineers led a railway connection to lahore to karachi okay in 1856 engineer led a railway connection that time they were discovered more bricks they were discovered more bricks next in 1920, 
in 1920 in 1920 archaeologists excavated the cities of Karappa and Mohenjo-daro when the archaeological archaeologists excavated the cities of Karappa and Mohenjo-daro in 1920 so in 1920 the archaeologists excavated the cities of Karappa and Mohenjo-daro and in 1924 in 1924 sir john marshall who sir john marshall sir john marshall find the common features of harappa and mohenjo-daro who sir john marshall find the common features of harappa and mohenjo-daro harappa and mohenjo-daro when in 1924 who is this sir sir john marshall sir john marshall is the director general of asi he is the director general director general general of asi he is a director general of asi what is the full form of asi asi is asi full form is archaeologist survey of india archaeological archaeological survey of india so asa is an archaeological survey of india this is established in 1861 when in 1861 is started his headquarters is located in new delhi its headquarters is located in new delhi in 1924 sir john marshall sir john marshall find the common features common features of harappa and mohenjo-daro and uh, he is he is a director general of asi he is a director general of asi and asi full form is archaeological survey of india asi full form is archaeological survey of india it starts 1861 1861 its headquarters is located in new delhi its headquarters is located in new delhi so sir john marshall find the common features of harappa and mohenjo-daro so he conclude that so he conclude that and harappa and harappa and mohenjo-daro are have a common common civilization they are the civilization common civilization okay harappa and mohenjo-daro were a common civilization next some small difference some small difference between the ethnic ways of harappa and mohenjo-daro some small difference between the ethnic ways of harappa and mohenjo-daro therefore the researchers conclude that the researchers conclude that harappa is the old city of mohenjo-daro which one is older city harappa is the older than mohenjo-daro harappa is the older city than mohenjo-daro therefore the indus valley civilization is also called harappan civilization indus valley civilization is also called harappa civilization next harappa civilization is harappa civilization is divided into three parts three part one is the first one is early harappa first one is early harappa and second one is mature harappa mature harappa mature harappa and third one is late harappa So totally three part. First one is Yali Harappa. Second one is Mature Harappa. Third one is Late Harappa. So Yali Harappa belongs to three thousand three hundred to two thousand six hundred BC. Yali Harappa is belongs to belongs to three thousand three hundred to two thousand six hundred BC. And Mature Harappa belongs to is two thousand six hundred to two thousand six hundred to thousand nine hundred to thousand nine hundred BC, two thousand six hundred to thousand nine hundred BC, and late Harappa belongs to late Harappa belongs to thousand nine hundred to two 
1700 BC. Here, so first one, Yali Harappa and belongs to 3300 to 2600 BC. Mature Harappa, 2600 to 1900 BC. And late Harappa, 1900 to 1700 BC. In this mature Harappa, in this mature Harappa, researchers found more more evidence researchers found more evidence okay in the mature harappa researchers found the more evidence now we discuss about the city city plan city the cities are divided into two parts one is upper town another one is lower town so one is upper town upper town and another one is lower town upper town and lower town so in the upper town what is upper town upper town is the part of the city to the west so this is the part of the city to the west the west side okay is the part of the city to the west side and it was higher it was higher it was higher it was higher and this another name is citadel it is called citadel citadel okay so part of the city to the west so upper town is the part of the city to the west and it was very higher it was higher so that means the buildings are very high and this another name is or it is called citadel here the upper town the administrators are live the administrators are live uh, is used by it was used by administrators administrators okay it was used by administrators and also great walk, great bath granaries are located here so once more upper town is the part of the city to the west upper town is the part of the city to the west and it was very higher and it is also called citadel it is used by the administrators here admi administrators are lived here okay next lower town lower town this is the part of the city to the east side okay so upper town is west and lower town is east so part of the city to the east part of the city to the east and it was lower it was lower but it is very large okay, it is lower but large lower but large so area is very large but the buildings are some lower and here the common mans are lived common people here it is used by common people used by common people Common people. Yeah. Now, what are the difference between upper town and lower town? Upper town is the part of the city to the west, and lower town is the part of the city to the east. And upper town is higher, lower town is lower but large. Okay. Upper town is used by administrators, and lower town is used by the common people. Okay. Next, we discuss about street and houses of Indus Valley Civilization. Street and houses. First. The streets are very straight. The streets are straight and grid pattern. Grid pattern. Streets are grid pattern. Grid pattern. Streets are grid pattern. Okay. Next, the streets are slightly go to north to. Streets are slightly go to north to south. North to south and east to west east to west so north to here north to south and east to west west okay so streets are 
Bidperton and streets are goes north to south and east to west and these two are intersecting to make a right angle. Right angle means 90 degree. Okay. Next, roads. The roads are very large. Roads are very large. Roads are wide or large. Roads are wide and rounded corner. Rounded corner. So roads are wide and rounded corner and two sides of the streets have the houses. Two sides of the streets have the houses. Two sides of the street have the houses and many of the houses have two or more floors. Two or more floors. Two or more floors. Two or more floors. Most of the houses has more rooms. Most of the houses have more rooms. Okay. More rooms. And every house or each house has toilet and bathrooms. Okay. Each house has toilets and bathroom. Each house has toilet and bathroom. And houses are made by baked bricks. Baked bricks. These bricks are mostly uniform. The size are size is mostly uniform size. Okay. So houses are made by baked bricks, and these bricks are mostly uniform size. Okay. So why their people make the houses by baked bricks? Why the people used baked bricks? So first one is baked bricks are strong. This is strong, strong and hard, strong, hard and will not resolve, will not dissolve by rain or water. So baked bricks are strong, hard and will not dissolve by rain or water. These are the street management. So what are they? So streets are grid pattern. Street are, streets are grid pattern and streets are slightly go north to south. North to, to, north, to, north to south and east to west. They are intersect at 90 degree. They are intersect at 90 degree. The roads are very wide and rounded corner. More of the houses two or more floors the houses has two or more floor and most of the houses have more rooms and each and every house has toilet and bathrooms toilet and bathrooms these houses are made by baked brisk these bricks are very strong hard will not dissolve by rain or water the baked bricks are uniformly sized uniform size most of the size Baked bricks are uniform size. Okay. So each drainage is covered. It is covered by slabs or bricks. Okay. Each drainage is covered. So covered by slabs or bricks. Next, each drainage have one small slope. Small slope. Slope is there. The small slope. It is used by easily water flow. It is used by the flow of water is easily. So every drainage has a one small slope. Okay. Next third one is every house has one pit. One pit. Okay. It collects the solid wastage. It collects the solid wastage and allow the water wastage. Allow the water wastage to the street pits. Okay. To the street drainage. Okay. So every house has had one pit, one pit, it collects the solid wastage, solid wastage and allowed only the water wastage to the street drainage. Okay, next we discuss about grape bath. Discuss about grape bath. You see, this is one of the 
earliest example of waterproof structure. This is the Great Pot is the one of the earliest example of earliest example of waterproof structure. It is very big. So very big. It's a rectangular shape. It is very large and rectangular shape. Large and rectangular shape. Rectangular shape. This is a rectangular shape. And this great bath have three sides or rooms. Three sides have rooms and north and south side steps are available. So three sides are room. Three sides room. And north and south side steps. Steps is north and south side. North and south side. The fresh water was come from the well. So fresh water come from the well. Come from the well and drainage water is out after use. Okay. Fresh water come from the well and drainage out after use. This is the one of the largest example or largest ex largest path. It's the largest path and is the earliest example of earliest example of waterproof structure. It is very large and rectangular shape. These three sides have rooms. It, they have three sides room and two sides steps. Which sides? North side and south side. The fresh water is come from the well and drainage water comes outside after usage. So we discuss about granaries. What is the use of the gran granary? The granaries are used to granaries are used to save the food. Save the food. Save the food or storage the food. Store. Save or store. Store the food or grains. Okay. The granaries are used to store the food. This is a massive building. It's a, it's a large building. Okay. Granary is also large building. Large building is used to or made to brick. This is also made by bricks. The researchers find the remaining grains are there. So what are the barley, wheat, rice and etc. Okay. Now we discuss about the assembly hall. The assembly hall. The assembly hall is the another huge public building of Mohanjadar. Okay. The assembly hall is the another huge public building in Mohanjadaro. So in Mohanjadaro is so assembly hall is in Mohanjadaro. Next, this is a multi-pillared hall. This is a multi-pillared hall. So what how many pillars? So 20 pillars in four rows. 20 pillars in four rows. Okay. So assembly hall is a huge public building in Mohanjadaro. And it's a multi-pillared hall. Multi-pillared hall. So it has 20 pillars in four rows. Next, trade and transport. Trade and transport. Harapons were great traders. The, who? The Harapons were the great traders. Weight and measurement system. Weight and measures. So the standard weight and measures, they are gone. Okay. The Harapons are standard weight and measures. And he used the cards. She used the cards. The cards are solid wheels. The cards are solid wheels. So wheel is fully solid. There is no hole. The solid wheels. Okay. The cards are solid wheels. Next, they were trade with Mesopotamia. They were trade with Mesopotamia. Because, because the Mesopotamia, the researchers have the Indus seal. Indus seal in Mesopotamia. Indus seal. One seal. Indus people use one seal. That seal is got or found in Mesopotamia. So they were trade with Mesopotamia. Okay. Next. Again, once more. Harappans were great traders. Harappans were great traders. They were have they have the great so great standard weight and measurement. Standard weight and measurement. 
they were used the cars the cars are solid wheels the cars are solid wheels they were tried with mesopotamia they were tried with mesopotamia so researchers found the indus seal in mesopotamia okay next leaders in mohenjo-daro leaders in mohenjo-daro already we discuss in the citadel in the citadel administrators are live in the citadel administrators are live what is citadel citadel is the upper part of the town upper town the upper town is used by the administrators okay one statue is found by the researchers one statue one man statue okay one male statue is found there that may that statue have head bone and the forehead head bone on the forehead in the forehead he had a head bone okay next ornaments on the right upper arm in the right upper arm one ornaments is there the the hair is combed hair is combed and beard is trimmed okay hair is combed and beard is trimmed next in the the shoulder the shoulder one band is there one band is the band is decorated with the designs of rings and flowers the decorations with the flowers and rings okay again once more leader in mohenjo-daro so leader one statue is founded by the researchers the statue is male statue this is this ha the statue had a head band head band on the forehead head band on the forehead and ornaments on the right upper arm ornaments on the right upper arm and a hair is combed and beard trimmed hair is combed and beard trims one band is in the shoulder that band is decorated with the flowers and rings okay so ornaments ornaments were popular among men and women so ornaments were popular among men and women what are the ornaments so necklaces rings earrings bangles etc so these ornaments are made by gold silver copper shells okay the ornaments were popular among men and women the ornaments are popular among men and women so both are commonly used the ornaments okay both are commonly used the ornaments so the ornaments are necklaces bangles earrings and etc and the, these ornaments are made by made with silver gold copper shells okay next occupation so in this valley people's main occupation is not known in this valley people's main occupation is not known but they were did more more works for example agriculture pottery making jewels making weaving okay. so what are they agriculture pottery making weaving and jewels making etc so but main occupation is don't know next general fact of indus valley civilization what are the general fact it is the oldest in the city world okay this is the oldest civilization in the world first one is this is the indus valley civilization is the oldest civilization in the world and is the largest civilization among the four asian civilizations i already told mesopotamia civilization indus valley civilization egyptian civilization and chinese civilization in this four civilization the indus valley civilization is very large which one is large indus valley civilization is very large and this is the first well planned city the indus valley civilization is first well planned city civilization so what are the what are the general general facts so first one is it is the oldest in the world this is the oldest in the world and the second one is this is the largest this is the largest asian and ancient civilization so first one is oldest in the world second one is largest civilization third one is it is the well planned city city civilization okay okay students the uh, the history is our history is very very important to our life so now kilodi excavation is going on kilodi excavation is going on so you collect the details about the kilodi excavation so thank you students